course of me thinks he's having us on. So it's not serious? Not in this case. As hearing problems go, it's pretty common. Although there are as many different problems as there are parts of the ear. And each one can affect hearing to different degrees. Alex's Hearing Help Desk. Now, having checked and tested you thoroughly, I think your hearing loss is temporary, Professor, and most likely caused by getting some water in your ears after the scientific swimming gala. So I won't have problems hearing forever? I don't think so. They'll probably go pop and you'll be able to hear again. I can have a beer again? Gosh, you and Nanabot are obsessed with beer. Part of me thinks he's having us on. So it's not serious? Not in this case. As hearing problems go, it's pretty common. Although there are as many different problems as there are parts of the ear. And each one can affect hearing to different degrees. Want to find out more? This is the outer part of the ear, moving into the inner ear canal. Hearing complaints which affect this part of the ear are called conductive hearing loss. They tend to make sounds quieter than they should be and often it's a temporary issue. What kind of things cause conductive hearing loss? All sorts of things. Infections and cysts, physical damage to the parts of the ear and even just a build-up of wax. As we get further into the inner ear, this is where sensory neural hearing loss occurs. It's another complicated sounding name, but it's all to do with the connections from the ear to the brain. The tiny hairs here carry information to the brain, and if they're damaged, the brain just can't get the signals. Damage to the hairs can be caused by loud noises. Is that right? That's right. As we found out, once hairs are damaged, they can't be repaired, so it's really important to protect your hearing and only listen to music or video games at a safe level. Sometimes it's not just loudness that's the problem, but a lack of clarity in what you hear. Things just sound muffled. Another type of hearing loss is central hearing loss. This is caused by problems inside the brain. Some people just can't interpret any information from the ears. It might be something you're born with or might be a result of an injury or illness. Such a lot of different problems. Yep, and each problem can be more or less serious. We classify hearing loss into four groups mild, moderate, severe and profound. When you have normal hearing, you can hear a wide range of sounds, from the quiet rustling of leaves to a ticking clock. With mild and moderate hearing loss, you might be able to hear conversations if you're close to the speaker and hear a doorbell, but sounds quieter might be lost. If you suffer severe hearing loss, you'd only be able to hear very loud sounds like a crying baby and people with profound hearing loss may not be able to hear any sounds at all, or only the very loudest sounds, like a loud road trip. So count yourself lucky, Professor, that you've only got a bit of water lodged in your lug holes. There's a dog in the plug hole. You're making no sense at all today, Nanabot. Ooh, the sooner that water clears out, the better. Alex's Hearing Help Desk, with support from Phonak. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash Alex.